that in political news as we head into another legislative session, Attorney General Bob Ferguson announcing some big moves today to champion a package of gun control bills. And depending on where you stand on guns, the AG's proposals are either brave or offensive. So take a look. The big one right now, Ferguson is proposing a ban on assault weapons. So essentially what this means is that he wants to ban any semi-automatic rifle that has one or more military style feature to it. The second one, he wants to limit high capacity magazines to only 10 rounds. And the third proposal is going after ammunition sales. So right now, people need a license to sell guns, but you don't need one for ammunition. Ferguson wants to change that and also make it illegal for felons to buy ammunition and dealers from knowingly selling it to them. Democratic lawmakers and groups like the Alliance for Gun Responsibility, who will be fighting for these measures this year, were successful last year, if you recall, in raising the age to 21 for anyone buying semi-automatic rifles. But there is no question that moving forward, they are going to get a lot of pushback. This will be a challenging bill for us uh, to pass the legislature this year. An assault weapon is seven times more likely to kill law enforcement. A study analyzing FBI data showed that 20% of the law enforcement officials killed in the line of duty from 1998 to 2001 were killed with assault weapons. Assault weapons are 11 times more likely to be used in a mass shooting than a handgun. So here is what gun rights groups are saying right now. Dave Workman with the Second Amendment Foundation says there is no question there will be a legal challenge if these measures pass. He says gun rights people will not be receptive to any of it, even when it comes to restrictions on ammunition sales. Workman says, quote, they would be delusional if they think felons and criminals are getting ammunition at retail locations.